Hi, I'm Mike Shackwright here, and we'll be talking about Star Trek Online with another ship build. Believe it or not, this is going to be a bit of a weird one, so here it goes. This is going to be the Mirror Universe Kagarin Real World Ship Tier 6. Now, this is this is a follow up to a previous video I made about a month ago. And so let's cover some information. Why am I talking about this one? This most recent sh event in this event should be the game, which run, which ran from the 14th of September to the 14th of October, which is the day after I post this video, and of course, later dates on the current source. So, y you, if you want to get this ship, you will have to spend spend all the money today, or play, get it on console later. This is a follow-up to a talk a few weeks ago. Uh, this time to discuss build. The delay is really down to some various issues, which some of it was down to lack of internet at times and non-standard downtimes for the game. That is. So here's a tile I've a t t table I pulled from that from last time round. These are the stats of the Gagarin compared to the Gagarin Mirka worker for the and the Fleet Shepherd from the from the Sense Star and the Fleet Star. And this is all, all pretty decent. It's a very tactical heavy one and it can turn pretty quick. Right, so. And these are the initial thoughts of the, when I was uh, uh, last last time around. Uh, yeah, the stats are quite a bit on the low end compared to some other ships. However, this is somewhat normal for a event ship. Like other event ships, she lacks the Commander Specialization Sheet. And the warships, uh, consoles and buff layouts are about weapon damage, but the 4-4 four four light weapon layout is considered weak compared to the 5-3 layout of the Prime Gagarin. Okay, that, those are the, what I got last time. Some initial, some initial thoughts after flying the, the Gagarin warship uh, is cut here. Yeah. As as I expected, she's not not as nimble as as, as pure escorts can, but she can turn out a decent weight without actual noticeable sliding. Now with cars, being a slider, you it means often you're not moving the direction where your nose is pointing, which can be a big problem, especially because you are going to probably crash into something or overshoot. And like car drivers, uh, experienced. Players can fly their ships in a way that they can use the slide to drift to their advantage. I'm going to use the term drift here is when you hear about drifting in cars. It's basically a slide, but under the control, somewhat under control of the driver, the driver itself. And again, here comes a quick, and this is a bit quick of the build, build basics of the actual ships in ship ships I do. I have my budget builds. I I always have a day one build, which means that anything that I own, anything on the ship, must be from the drop table. The exceptions are from the items, item ship, items, traits, and anything that comes from with that ship, or the, or the event. So I can only get out of items that you, you could expect to get from that event or ship. You should, uh, because a limited number of early Unique mission was only considered if there are, if and if any is available that's worth considering. Uh, for day fifty builds, I'm, I usually limit to anything that's a tier five, tier four. Oh, is it only tier five, tier four reward? And any mission reward is now considered available, which 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 usually is the case with uh, budget builds, especially when it's your first ship. Day sixty builds is is a, is somewhat of a bit misnomer there, but it's, it's all tier four rewards are now considered because you hit you hit tier six, and I've just had to include craft only items uh, as being considered. Any item that I consider expensive that I use on day 
and day 0 or day 30 builds sh will, should not be replaced by day 60. Item mods that are considered are generally not considered considered unless it's useful for a medium choice. Basically, if you have if your weapon which has damage, accuracy, and critical crit, crit D, uh, it doesn't matter too much. Item upgrades are not used in, when I'm usually considering these builds. Uh, items are often marked 12 or, or below. Bridge officer powers are usually cons li limited to rank, rank 1 or two, 2 for day 60 builds, with some exceptions. Usually, use <laughs> items from not boxes, fleet stars, Zen st the Zen star, lobby star, uh, uh, or events are not considered. Of course, event, event items, buff up powers, or anything that you you would have to get to get hold of the ship is considered is considered allowed. Now, the day thirty and the day sixty builds. I usually the reason why I call these is because day thirty is the t time when is roughly around the time where tier five is of reputation gets completed. It's expected most of the players will have completed the story by this time, so replaying them is going to be relatively easy for them. Day 60 builds is the time when p most people have got to the end of a tier, tier 6 reputation, so at this point I usually let put in a lot more reputation gear, purely because it's a lot easier to eat it when eat the... eat, eat the... Eat, take the cost, the living cost, due to the fact that you, by day 30 you will just got a big pile of if I had lithium and nothing to and a pile of items to spend to put on it <laughs> so jump into I'm going to jump to tier, tier day 60 uh, the, the build I've chosen really needs bank free powers to work efficiently uh, effectively and because that rank free powers are generally considered only found as crafted or traded, I've generally considered them to be expensive for any pre day 60 budget builds, but you can obtain them quite early on with some well, looking at exchange or are you pick, checking your bridge officer candidates that you will have got given or found you should use your permissions with the right, right powers. Rank 3 powers I've chosen are not where by any stretch of the imagination these are usually c are very very commonly used and very commonly found on in various pl places i've also considered three new three duty officers are required for this build to work at all uh, whilst i've found that sources that are free they are considered time consuming to obtain and the best ones are the best best duty officers I've considered are looking at are also expensive the exchange when you do find them. Uh, now the biggest thing about this one is I'm going to cover the Ox to Bat build. Now this is a very common commonly used uh, build as you can see here quite a few people have got uh, co uh, covering them because covering them, them if you look on on a on a on a YouTube search, here's a handful of them on here, and you can see I'll see at least the top three covering bat, ox to bat, or, and some others have co covered ox to bat in, in them. Uh, they actually do require free technicians to have the ability to uh, to reduce cooldowns on that pad, pad activation of ox to battery. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm going to repeat it myself here a bit. You, this is the ox to bat symbol. Uh, ox, ox. So, what you really need for it, you need it, two engineering seats to slot in this ability, which is a tent or higher, which of the power I mean, uh, with, le with a tent or higher. And, they, and you need technicians. And they're more, more, they have multiple descriptions, but they, you need the description of which has bridge officer. Abilities reduced after a reduced after auxiliary to battery, and you have to have no requirement for auxiliary power abilities. And I'm going to 
I love it to be in the uh, ship with just so you have to get all of some items. Welcome to the big twin cluster. Now we now the best way to get hold of a of a well, the technician is to actually use part visit the sector and do all these one these numbers numbered of set this one of seven, two of seven, two of seven is here, and I'm missing the colonists right here, so I can't complete it. But and it's, it's going to be twenty hours, so you're going to spend about over a week to try and get this, and this does not always appear on here. <laughs> but visiting this is the only has got guaranteed drop of a of a technician, and because the our build will require mul multiples and. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's actually, actually one of the place. And here we are, um, well, um, Starfleet Academy, and... Especially now, well, uh, the... People know a, uh, turn off should work around here. Mind you, there's Romland and... Jemadar just around here on a regular basis. <laughs> So normally you're the getting your projections from uh, this person is a nice thing to do, but it's talking to Lieutenant Farrah is the person you need to speak to because he, he, if you've been doing your commendations, you can get very stuff from depending on what level you've got your commendations to. Currently, I've got development. Max out and trade on this character, so I could pick any of these very easily. Have a other than picking up a, a marina for, for for this character for ground tra trade's not useful for, for me here. I'll possibly get Craig, but but. As you see, these are popping up very decent duty officers, but is there one far? And diplomacy, you can get various other stuff. And but for diplomacy, you can use not what you're looking for. You're looking for. You can pick up two Zaf from hit from engineering as soon as you can get engineering up to uh, to rank four, but sadly. But you can always pick up a this fellow here. He'll do nicely for a short time because you need as much as you can. But if you can't afford for this one, you can get this one. If you've bought one of these before, it, it does cost you some money, some dilithium to acquire someone else on this list. But I need him now. But <laughs> I need to actually get, get, get up a bit further. You can see, you can find up some more. I will also point out that Klingons will have a different amount of people available, but some of them will be de decent enough to uh, use. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's really the only two sources of uh, technicians you can really get. But I will say there's probably enough technicians hid around here that you can probably get at least two of them from here. Alternatively, you can go around here and try and grind up as get as many du duty officers and grind them up as you can but that's expensive on dilithium or you can and um, assuming you can actually afford it by technician of the exchange as we're going to point out the exchange you'll find pretty quickly 
has its own problem. Because not all technicians do the same job. My technicians all have the same effect. Oh, it didn't have the, have the same the same effect. Which is which has which I which which officers at uh, after using auxiliary to battery. So I was to go down here, select engineering technician and select uh which is the what you the best you can usually get. And you come up with a pile of technicians. Now, first of all, I'm going to start right now saying that I'm currently both looking at Kling, both Klingon and Federation of. So currently, a, te a paper technician it costs about seven million five hundred DC, and this doesn't, and none of these do, and these, and this one gives you a electrical damage boost when you use a tachyon harmonic ability. None, none of these bridge officers, no, bridge officers, until they reach here with ta ten over ten million EC, for the Klingons, to get the effects you need. And and for Federation. I'll just turn the usual items on so I can so it'll and, and refresh. So now I've just knocked out to anything that's Klingon only. It gets a, you get you've got to be twenty. You got fifteen thousand. You know fifteen million. EC just to get hold of hold of one, which is the reason why I don't particularly like using the exchange because prices don't aren't always very very variable. I will also point out that there are some other guaranteed sources. Horatio here is from a duty officer tr chain, is but it's a very rare drop, and it's more of a pain to get hold of them because I've known so I know he's from a very rare drop, but I can't tell you where exactly he is. I do. I will have to remind you that you do need to read these texts you know, as well. You get to see it. It's actually a decent one, and actually has some useful abilities in certain places. Same with uh, Zoni, which both of them are decent, decent enough. But you can always drop down to rare. It turns everything, and it's starting up seven at seven point five five seven and a half EC. But this one's actually just about doable, and I could always do stuff with it with this character. Get this character to boss bug with officers. Did you? More officers later. Although, admittedly, that is that's well outside the uh, bounds of you of the usual bridge officer uh, usual budget rules. Uh, do you we really need the free purples? Well, yes and no. The recharge ability. Bridge, bridge Officer abilities is, is, is will trigger every time oxygen battery is triggered. The amount of recharge is affected by the number of and quality of the said duty officers. The game actually limits you to have three active technicians, technicians at any one time. You, uh, uh, this will this will just have a, having three purples uh, will reduce the cooldown to a massive thirty. 
percent every time every time you trigger Octobot, which works out about once every ten seconds. Uh, however, you may your your abilities may not have thirty sec thirty percent left on their cooldown, so it'll take might hit the global cooldown due to various other stuff. The the ten of ten, which is and two of twelve. In it, which is from the B2 and cluster, which I was showing a minute ago, they are the best sources for technicians for a budget build because they're free. <coughs> Welcome, uh, well, this is the ISS OC Jack. I didn't, that's what it came out as, and we're, we're quite a bit distant away from that. Uh, a space dock over there. It's pure because we just need uh, rather not uh, be interrupted over here. So, I wanted to make a go and good. But now I need to explain some things about uh, the. Before I get too far into it, I need to explain the ba quick basics of the Oxtabat strategy I was talking about earlier. Now I'll give you the abilities to how to use it. Now I'm going to cover what is what you're going to be what you need need it for. So, so you need to. I've got three technicians here. Now I the, the, now this gives me ten, then eight and eight. So that's we know it's not the best. But that's how much I've got with it, with what I can, can with that um, moment, this moment in time. So, but and law here is just because I've got to to the because he's a free bridge officer that you can get from the from the uh, uh, that's on here, but it's available from the wasteland arc, which is. Which is which is available for available as uh, for some players after completing all the main story. But for all players, it's for some you are, all players can pick it, pick him up. Both Federation and Klingons. This is Federation version of Law. But it's just just so I can actually just take advantage of uh, what topic the few torpedoes I've currently got it on. It's quite nice to have. And this extra coverage is, is a. Is one I think I've picked up a um, due to a mi mission reward, but I just want this is because uh, he's a but his ability is not uh, is not is what's not unique, it's not perfect, not required for this build. But let's talk about that uh, cooldown by 10 and 18... 26%! Yes, so I was doing the mental arithmetic there. Now, if you notice on our bridge officers stations, we have two, lieut two lieutenants and the rest of the stuff. Now, this bridge officer would, is, would be, could be considered to be used for the this bridge obviously could be used with the lost Kabali from from the dust to dust. Very nice to use. So every it, now these abilities will only trigger on bridge officer abilities. So t ten eight so with twenty and because it, it will always trigger. So we activate it on there. See that. And I'm going to quickly cover something important right here. Abilities will either have one, two cooldown sh shapes. This, the there is a clock face, which is basically is what I'm going to is what I call standard cooldown. Uh, your and then there's the uh, Beamed this pull down, which is 
is it is in the global cool down which means it can't be cooled down any faster and I've deliberately made this build but with all these going you can always add auxiliary to battery we'll watch this we'll cause all of them to clear and then they have to to hit change so if I have them all triggering back to back which um, is why the torpedo spread just disabled itself is peculiar because it was still act technically still active at the time now if you see everything's just gone to global cooldown it, and this is quite could keep it ship alive pretty quick however I do point out that sensibilities from being instead of being 25 here being 30, 37 here is now dropped down to well five so it, it does mean that you do need to work where you can't use as I said before you don't you can't use abilities that require ox power and there's not very few abilities do I mean okay the cannon and twit twits let's go on to the actual ships itself now I've deliberately picked uh, picked the tier the tier six reward to reputation reward for Terran Task Force. Yes, the tier six reward is phaser. That's right. Tier six phaser, and this will be the, this may be, this is the case for some of this stuff, and I've. Do, I have not been unable to get everything for this set due to the fact that this build because I just have just run out of time now that, and that's supposed to be it, that is turning in for a standard phaser beam bit phaser cannon but phaser beam cannons on the front and then and that's quantum phase dual heavy cannon as uh, which is from the which we covered in the in the a uh, few weeks ago on within the sets I've reset took then here is the dark matter quantum torpedo launcher now due to the fact this is a character who's re who this is a character that has been on that has done a done a Build on itself. Build with its. Uh, it's got got the ability to get some bone stuff, and it's getting. And this, believe it or not, is considered by many the best kinetic weapon to play the launch in the game. So people recommend this one a lot. So continuing on the weapons, we're going to have the heavy biomolecular phaser to it. To it. Now, and um, again, this is a. What's well, this is a not a, a. This is a tier four reward. It's it's very nice to have. It's very nice to have, and but suddenly it's part known. Quite well, I'll mention it later. It's currently uh, missing because I've haven't had enough time to collect collect that piece. A. Hey. The Gamma Task Force advanced in every team phaser turret. Yes. <laughs> Another phaser turret from the reputation system. Again, this was more of a more use semi useful thing to have. But it's purely because it's got a nice two piece set with the engineering console which increases phaser damage and projectile what damage as well, so we're gonna go and take it. We will take it. We'll take it. <laughs> um, then we have the quantum phase torpedo. This is which is this pure because I just couldn't. I just didn't, this could be we could fit two up front and have touch one, be four touch at the back. or just and this is a standard phaser to it. This is basically picked up from the completing the. 
standard standard uh, because because uh, when you you've got that much time and effort <laughs> or not enough time and effort you will need to go be buying you'll when building these from budget and when you get collecting a when you're collecting a heavy buy record visitor you'll need you'll spend a a big pile of time collecting phaser weapons from the from the 8472 counter command uh, reputation so why not t take advantage of the of the uh, of what what they'll drop out the boxes as you can see here is they come both in both in phaser and district district format so you what's the, this is more of a colourful thing but very nice to have and I'm going to go with the somewhat standard, standard build of mine the discovery 2 piece set and or basically discovery what car and the, dis the discovery shield again very nice to have and this produces a uh, sort of weird nice pattern on the weird pattern on the hull if you like it but keeping it on for the time being and you will get additional gold regeneration but this so you can take a lot more hits when you have those two on and here's a competitive engines which you which on its own is no it's okay I'm going to say this one gets faster when you activate farming abilities so very nice to have as well I've just got the quantum phase deflector pure because <laughs> the random, somewhat random deflect, deflect, but this one increases our tankiness because we increases our shields and increases our shields. So very nice to have units as it is. Now let's move on to the tactical consoles. Yeah, I'm going with tacticals. Don't, 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 don't question me. I'm too much on that. I've got this. Like a custom fire controls, which will pair very nicely with the the that that matter torpedo. So, quite, this is a minor buff, which just critical severity and on every time you get a crit. But this box, this console, creates critical chances up a lot and there's quite a bit of boosting of your power as is so uh, I mean this this is actually quick better than the, the lock and crystals fire controls often is better than the uh, what you get from the fleet laser consoles in terms of quick critical chance so I mean this is considered by many the be one of the best things to slot into that cons into a tactical slot if, if you have a, a bit and I've gone for the stun phaser 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 bill uh, phaser relays because phaser relay because we've got every uh, every weapon besides two is phaser so moving on to the science uh, this was more of a drop it in when you feel like it and this is basically a increases a is a damaging boosting sh boosting uh, and damage resistance console so very nice to have and I mean it's not the best but it's, well you want to keep you want to have your damage up as much as you can and I've also decided to give you give the ship a bit more shield restoration uh, with this emitter ray console but this is just m random more of a random choice of build choices <laughs> um, let's go over sign, uh, the engineering name consoles now we've as I covered the, we've got the audience salvage from the from the gamma task force rep again this is pretty much a very nice thing to have 
Now I've picked up a Bellalium RCS accelerator from the Discovery Rep. Since we're going to be uh, getting three or four, several consoles, since we're going to get the Discovery Rep up to, up to near the top anyway, we got, we pick up a few free consoles. And again, this is more of a this is a this is another console which basically is just a random random. Uh, a random hull plating one, which, which for, for for what for what we're going to need to do, is pretty nice. To, it's just something something to is more of a filler slot, just in case we need if we have a universal console console or an engine console that can fit in there, such as because there are some other alternatives we can can consider here. I'll cover those later, and of course the quantum phase converter for the three-piece quantum phase set. Um, this is get this gets us good quite a bit of quite a bit of uh, this has been upgraded to compared to the standard, standard consoles. But this is a uh, gets additional phase of damage and and all the good stuff that you've managed to pick up from. Pick up from having the having additional accuracy and stuff. And also, most of the stuff, I, I, of course, I've forgotten that the devices, but that standard phase and shields, if you wish, or various other, various other things such as the en battery en energy amplifier from the uh, which you can run pretty easily. I mean. Which is something you may want to do to boost your weapon power. <laughs> I think that might be stuck on a 30 minute cooldown for some reason. But, that is basically the big things of this set. Of this, well, set. <laughs> of this build I'm going to cover. Other than I'm going to basically cover this thing here. Now this is the Spam bar. Oh, basically, I basically I'll call this the 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 possible route to put stuff in uh, of slot slot items into them. Now I deliberately have weapon power first. Well, why not? You got to be f after firing weapons, and every time you fire a weapon, it drains. So very nice to have. And I have tactical team. This provides you a slight slight boost in weapon. Weapon, we in your weapons and uh, this and this your shield, so very nice to have. Next is attack pattern beta. This will reduce damage resistance on your enemies, so very nice to have that going on. I've got also got tactical t team again. That's more of a just cover my uh, my my ass, but that's that. Uh, with a good enough extra build, this one, this second one is surplus to requirements, as with this uh, cannon, sc cannon scatter volley. Now I've got a cannon scatter volley three, which I should point out is the, is one of t one of the three uh, one of the three items on this build, which is you res you must either craft or get from the exchange. Officer training here get, can get you a if you get you the can get to volley free here. I need to get hold of a pad personal device which is right up here. And you but this is pure because I'm a tactical officer and you need to know and same with the torpedo spread free here. So that that costs a small amount of dilithium, but that's not a bad deal f for tactical officer. Now, to get the weapons, but if you're not a tactical officer, you can find these these t these manuals on the exchange if you are willing to uh, spend some EC on it. That's the reason why I deliberately marked it as a 
a six to build because you can't you need to rely on other players to help you through this <laughs> and plus then there is reverse shield polarity which basically is a semi heal to keep your shields up when, uh, and stuff but this is more of a filler because I've filler for it for my which could be changed with some some of the command abilities if I so wish to use them which can be useful for more of a torpedo heavy build and then there is auxiliary uh, auxiliary power to uh, expert uh, the um, so um, so this is is all ones that I trigger on a basis. I forgot to mention that this particular cowing here is basically on couple company is semi surplus to equipment due to the way that I've currently got this set build set up. Semi surplus equipment. But she so I'll be able to put in additional abilities like t which we could use there for for, for which For example, we could quite easily drop in a another ability, such as uh, a pat pattern delta, delta, which she could easily get hold of, or even focused assault, which <laughs> which is a, which is a mission reward, I believe. There's also nine special buttons, which is which which you can easily pick up, and this is very nice to have for the, for the, these doom. So the big thing is, I knew don't want to be picking the picking abilities that from base other stuff. I mean that tactical team I just mentioned is the is probably the best and probably the worst thing you can have in that slot. But there's nothing I can think of to put in it other than uh, chemocyte. However, chemocyte is a lot box built and no, no anywhere budget builder. <laughs> I'm going to quickly cover traits <laughs> now because this is of the ship it is it's actually a trait is it is the ship's own starship trait is pretty much the good thing one of the best things to have but this time anything that hits the front quarter it does gets immunity to damage after using a captain ability these for for abilities here are uh, this a, co a common selection for me for that I use. That's attack button alpha, tactical initiative and firmware mac and tactical fleet are all ones that would trigger this ability for five seconds. This it it will this this will also increase shield heals which is very nice if you've got a shield heal that may pop up every every so often so time, time, time this right and you get shield heals as well very good shield heals so I've also picked up use because there's a limit I've got three, three I've had this truck this particular build is pure because I've what I've got this is a the intelligence abilities when which which is pretty much the intelligence uh, specialization filled out which means and I've and the same with the other three abilities because it all three of them are from the various stuff admittedly there are other abilities I use on a regular basis but this is for purely for a use the of a budget builds they are not that valid <laughs> and 
we've got for our, brick, our space reputation, which since you were going to be needing to get to level level rank six anyway, you're going to have everything up to t to, to rank two uh, unlocked anyway. So let's use it. So we have Tyus duality. You get incre increased critical chance based on your hull capacity. Oh, you get well. If this ship's go is a as for, as pervy as an escort goes, is gets very is gets increased. It's a relatively bulky ship as escorts go. So, as well, so she gets so with quite a bit of extra hull. Yeah, it's very nice to have. Next up is advanced engines. Well, my real one of the tips is if you can if you if you can get in there and out there before you before anyone knows what's happening, flight speed will help you get in there and get out there. I've got precision because it's just boosts our critical chance, but because it's more damage as well when you get critical chance, and then critical severity just for the sake of after that. I mean some of the other abilities just basically don't work such as the auxiliary, auxiliary power configuration and based on st some of the other stuff are just better on for, si for sites and stuff. So that is basically the turret build. <laughs> turret and cannon build. With some minor changes because I forgot to mention that the abilities have been just some consoles just ma didn't make it. <laughs> All right, I need to consider some additional things. I, I'm I missed, I didn't get enough time to put in the slot in the consider to run the, beyond the Nexus or self attention to get all of the either the twelve tw lace weaponry set or the com counter command multi. Conduit energy relay for for, for service tension. I didn't. I sadly didn't have enough. Also, didn't bother to get all of the kinetic cutting beam or the simulated module, which are all very very good things to consider to use in in these builds. Because you will have a because you see here, half of those stuff will be putting out stuff that you may want to consider keeping. I've also got. I've also considered mines because we got we got that a believe not that tact two of those tactical slots end up being somewhat useless. The the advanced inhibiting quantum rapid mine launcher from the gamma reputation is considered it's considered pure because we've got the audio two piece set in it as well. We since we're going to be for using got got using gun. Quantum torpedoes in the build already. We can always consider using the a a com the competitive mine launcher from the which is a quantum quantum mine mine. So you can have additional quantum mines. <laughs> and there's also the Nukara web mine web launcher, which basically creates a, a but well a converts your t turns your enemies into the locks them down and puts them in a a new a thonium web of sorts. <laughs> this is very nice to ha consider using. Or you could use the tractor beam beam mine launcher from the cutting the card, which is very considers very much a heavy heavy consider consideration for pinning anyone down. There's also some addi additional items that we consider when we pay consider paid items for us. Are never considered on the budget bills because they are ex uh, considered pretty expensive. Firstly, the Kimisite Lace Weapon Rip, best with one, and it's considered generally a regular item for the regular item for slotting in for tactical abilities, so it's, it, I could think of not much else to go in there. Then there is the Fleet Spies Vulnerability Locators, which is particularly the phaser consoles. Again, fleet items are considered not not i not not available uh, considered uh, not considered for this item. And then there's the fleet colony, which 
items, which is basically the protomatic matrix infuser, tactical consoles, which basically gives your he ship a slight heal with your, when every time you use your use of certain abilities. I don't I use the vulnerability locators purely because they can blow blow stuff quite a bit stuff up fast pretty quick. Then there is the then I'm going to consider two traits because since these are come from ships they are quite simply off the, the board but quite easily set acceptable for using if if you already have these ships. So the first is the emergency weapon cycle from the Arbiter which is very much a and some of us but it's very much a very, very much a nice one to consider using. Then there is the Wiving Barrage, which is from the Valiant and some of us. The Wiving Barrage boosts your ability to to use Cannon Scatter Volley, which, which for this like cannon, cannon build is very much nice to have. Now what about the beam builder, you hear me asking? To put simply, I ran out of time. I lost a few days due to internet and con connection issues and also with this game being down at certain times when I was expecting to have, it, have enough time to do stuff. Also, I couldn't just build the uh, build build the build it in theory using the skill planner app, which I usually use to to build a theory build. But the main reasons big changes I would consider to a beam build would be changes to the tactical seating and swapping in some useful consoles which don't synergize with the with the new beams because they only have a cannon set cannon item in, based item in the the set. But then this be Mike Shot Writer. See you guys next time.